Growth in plants reflects the way in which they interact with the environment. If we place a strong light at one side of this fuchsia plant, the plant will grow towards it. This is called a phototrophic response. But what controls such a response? If the tip of the plant is protected from the light using a small cap, the plant will continue to grow upward. This suggests that there is something at the tip of the plant that controls the direction of growth. If we place this fuchsia plant on its side, it quickly recovers its orientation and grows upward. But is the plant responding to light or to gravity? These pea seeds are germinating in the dark, yet the roots are growing down and the shoots are growing up. The roots and shoots must be responding to gravity, but in different ways. The roots are said to be positively geotropic, and the shoots negatively geotropic. It is probable that all of these growth responses are due in some part to the auxin indole acetic acid, or IAA. One theory states that a light-sensing mechanism in the tip of the fuchsia plant promotes the active transport of IAM molecules to the shaded part of the stem. This action produces cell growth and elongation in this area. The result is a curvature which orientates the plant towards the light. A gravity-sensing mechanism in the shoot tip triggers a similar migration of IAA molecules, producing growth in the stem which orientates the plant from a horizontal position back to a vertical position. The growth substance IAA also appears to have a role in maintaining apical dominance. By removing the growing tip, which controls auxin distribution and therefore apical dominance, lateral buds can grow. An important hormone in deciduous plants is abscisic acid, which controls leaf fall, thereby protecting the plant from adverse seasonal conditions.